Improper, improper, improper. We, as always, start limits by introducing a limit. If you do an improper integral without limits, you will get at most half the marks. Sounds harsh, but that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so we do this um, integral with a limit. Now, why don't you try it from here? So we'll pause and try this. Um, divergent, it should be divergent. Hopefully you get that. Now, the antiderivative here, uh, I'm not going to show my work. I'm just going to, oh, squeaky, squeaky. So what do I get? I get um, x squared plus 1, uh, just like that. Nothing on the 2. two. I do derivative. Brain's not working. I think I need a two in front here, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, what did I do? I'm not showing my work. I did uh, substitution u is equal to x squared plus one. That's how you would get here. I did more of a guess and check, but we'll leave it there. Now, plug in my T, plug in my 1. And what do you get? You get this expression. And now you remember that T is going to infinity. Now remember that if I'm doing an improper integral and I get a real number, then the improper integral is convergent. Any other situation, divergent. So here, t is going to infinity. So you have this expression growing and growing and growing. So square root of t squared plus 1. Is there any ceiling on that? Is there a maximum that it reaches? No, there is not. It just grows and grows and grows. So this part of the limit goes to infinity. So it's okay at this point to just write divergent. Again, because this part is not approaching a real number. It's approaching infinity.